This is the Civilization 4 NLL. Welcome to the Noble Leaders League. I am Shotlike. This is the first division game between Hannibal and Saladin. Hannibal number 4 in the league, 13 points. Saladin number 16 with 7. Hannibal in 2-1-2 form, Saladin in 1-1-3. Hannibal lost Diplo hosting Catherine round 10 and has no wins in his last two games. Saladin lost Domination hosting Chin Chi Hung, has no wins in his last four games. Let's get a look at the map. These are the starting positions. We get the resource bubbles on. Hannibal starts here. One close to one, two, three fishes, a crab, there is copper, there is sheep, and there is also a fourth fish over here, a little bit away. He starts on the southern part of the starting continent. In the middle to the west, we find Saladin's starting position, riverside, gems, sugar, fish up here, some oil, and there are horses, and also we see some floodplains here, and the floodplains over there as well. Now... Let's get the game rolling immediately. Hannibal versus Saladin. Hannibal fighting for the championship. He is four points behind Julius Caesar after last round. And he needs to start winning again. One city each. Saladin first to two cities. Different religions. Saladin, by the way, he is down in relegation at the moment. As you can see uh, to the left of your screen on the table there. He needs a win to get out of the bottom three, uh, so he has something to fight for as well. Hannibal, five cities, Saladin, three cities, different religion. Saladin is annoyed with Hannibal, Hannibal up to six cities, and Saladin is stuck at four. Seven cities, Hannibal, Hannibal is clearly the better to expand in the early game here. This is an advantage for Carthage. Nine cities to four, Saladin is only four. Well, there he has his fifth city, but Hannibal with ten cities. And Saladin on six, eleven to six now is the city count at the moment. Going optics after machinery and uh, solid engineering next for Hannibal then. Eleven to six still, alphabet. And then some literature and stuff, going music next, Saladin is on currency. Hannibal is 2.4 times the strength of Saladin as well, so we could be planning a war if we wanted to. He has 11 cities, he has a lot more score, a lot more cities, a lot uh, bigger military strength. So Hannibal is in a very good position here. He is also going towards astronomy and Saladin, he is in a pickle at the moment. This is not a good game for the Arabian leader. 11 cities to 6 and we are kind of only expecting Hannibal to go on the offensive here to make an attack but instead he creates settlers and settles the new world. 14 cities now for Hannibal. Saladin on 7, 15 to 7 now. So Hannibal is building a lot of settlers sending them out into the new world and he could potentially expand into domination in this game because I don't think Saladin has that much land. 17 to 7 is the city count. Hannibal on printing press getting replaceable parts after that. Saladin on compass. 19 to 7. Rifling next for Hannibal, which means that he is probably thinking about a war at the moment. 20 cities for Hannibal. Saladin stuck on 8 cities now. Getting engineering, but Hannibal is already taking towards communism. 21 cities to 8, and here Hannibal with 2.8 times the strength, 2.9 times the strength of Saladin. And it looks to me like Hannibal, well, he's a little bit slow to go to war, it seems. 23 cities to 8, he still has things to do. He's trying to expand, and Hannibal from this position, I cannot see any other result than a Hannibal victory in this game. But things can happen in Civ 4. There are no guarantees, but Hannibal, I will be sorely disappointed if you should lose this game now. 25 cities to 8, and uh, there is the war, which means that Hannibal is going to secure his domination by taking a few cities off of Saladin now. Saladin with 8 cities. I think he just got gunpowder, but that is way too late anyway. Ha anyway, Hannibal is on artillery. 26 cities to 8, Saladin still on 8 cities though, even though Hannibal is 3 times as strong as Saladin. But it's only a matter of time before that is going to change. 
And uh, still 8 cities, 27 cities for Hannibal now, 27 to 8. Going towards electricity, Saladin is on the printing press, Hannibal three times as strong. And we have a peace treaty, we do have a peace treaty, what happened there? Okay, Saladin has 8 cities but he has settled the city all the way to the east of the map. Maybe Hannibal took a city at the same turn Saladin settled one and that's why it didn't change from 8 to 7, that's a possibility. I will have to wait and see. Uh, now Hannibal is on industrialism, Saladin is on replaceable parts with Hannibal 3.6 times, uh, 3.7 times the strength of Saladin, Saladin going rifling with 31 cities Hannibal, 8 cities Saladin and we have no longer a peace treaty in effect so they can, could go to war now if they wanted to, Saladin has built another city, it's up to 9 but that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things because here comes Hannibal again, 32 cities to 9, Hannibal now attacking, attacking towards plastic, Saladin just got rifling, but Hannibal has 4.9, 5 times the strength of Saladin almost now, 8 cities down, Saladin is down to 8 cities now, Hannibal 34 to 8, turn 323 now. 8 cities left for Saladin, Hannibal is back to winning ways, that's for sure, Saladin is going to lose and he is going to avoid winning again. So 8 cities left for Saladin, Hannibal on 35 cities as he settles another one and there is the domination victory at the same time that the peace treaty comes along, Hannibal signs peace and wins domination by settling that city down in towards the Antarctic and congratulations with that Hannibal. Turn 329, 1909 AD, domination Hannibal. For the most part, Hannibal's domination victory was a result of peaceful expansion. However, he did declare two wars. Uh, the city capture numbers were nil, nil and one, nil. So in total, he only captured one city of, of Saladin. Let's go take a look at the graphs and stuff. Here we are. Hannibal is the one in orange. This is the score. This is the GNP. The production, the food, the power, the culture, and then the espionage. Hannibal was number one in everything. Demographic stand Hannibal's to the left, Saladin's to the right. And we see there are decently good numbers here. Top six cities and Wonderstand. Let's go to the bottom. And see there were one, two, three, four BC wonders in the game. Back to the top. And we see Hannibal with the number one, number two, number three, number four city. Saladin has the fifth and Hannibal has the sixth of the top six cities. Statistics done, Hannibal, 33 cities built, five legions, three golden ages, currently on 42 towns, 41 windmills, 31 lumber mills. And then he built 28 granaries, 22 lighthouses, 20 barracks. We see two Jewish temples there. Page down and we see the Kong Miao at the bottom of the next page. Page down again to see University of Sankor as the last building built by Hannibal. His current units are 
93 infantry, 32 workers, 18 transports, down to one great spy. He did train a total of 38 workers, 33 settlers, 27 riflemen, down to four anti-tanks. Let's go page down and see one musket man completing the list of units trained. Let's look at the number for kills, 15 camel archers and war elephants, 8 catapults and caravels down to 1 horse archer and the losses were 6 knights, 5 riflemen, 4 artillery down to 1 infantry. Saladin's numbers, he built 10 cities, 2 religions founded, currently is on 40 towns, 12 windmills and 8 cottages. He did build in his cities 8 granaries, 7 madrasas and barracks as we see one the Hagia Sophia at the bottom. Page down here and see one Hindu Mandir as the last building built by Saladin. Current units are 35 riflemen, 13 camel archers, 8 workers down to 1 war elephant. He did train a total of 26 archers, 24 camel archers, 20 Christian missionaries down to 1 great engineer. Let's go page down and see a galley at the bottom there. Let's confirm the kills. 6 knights, 5 riflemen, 4 artillery down to 1 infantry and the losses... 15 camel archers and war elephants, 8 caravels and catapults, down to 1 pikeman. Time for the victory condition screen. Here we see Hannibal on 77.61% of the land area, thus winning the domination win. And no cultural attempts, Hannibal built the apostolic palace. Let's go take a look at the cities. 36 of them. Sort by population. Going to the top. Leptis Pop 19, Takapa 18, Carthage 17, and we see they are happy and healthy with the exception of Takapa that is not healthy. A good, decent uh, basic food, a good base commerce in Leptis 112 and Carthage 118, also Hippo 90, and some in the 80s, and we have 50s and 60s, so good base commerce overall. Good production as well, building Broadway in Hippo and Apollo program in Onuba. We see Seas is the last city on page one. That is a pop four city. Let's go page down bottom. Four Seas. So Eul is the first city on page two. And you see the cities down there to the bottom. Let's go take a look at Saladin's cities as well. He has seven of them. So let's see if we can take a glimpse of them as well. Seven Saladin cities sort by population, Mecca and Damascus pop nine, Baghdad, Basra six, Nashra, Fustat four and Anjar two. They are happy and healthy, have low base food, low base commerce, low production, but building military units at the very least. Well, with the exception of a workboat, I see. Spoiler alert, results and updated league tables follows after this screen. Congratulations to Hannibal with the domination win 1909 turn 329. The updated league table shows Hannibal now third with 15 points and a positive 14. Score turn difference Saladin 17th, 7 points, negative 42 score turn difference and he is in trouble falling down into the relegation zone and sinking uh, further down and it's becoming well problematic for the former total to get out of it now i think the next game then is chin shi huang versus sara jacob that is up in just a little a bit i am a shot like this has been the noble leaders league i hope to see you back later goodbye for now